time now to take a look at what's been happening in the world of sports. Joining us in the studio is our sports editor, Paul Need. Hello, Paul. Good evening. Let's start with football. The South Korean national team is in action later this week, but will be without its captain. What can you tell us? Yes, that's right. Son Ung Min has been forced to withdraw from the squad due to a hamstring injury. The news broke on Friday that Son will not be fit enough to play Korea's next two games and that Hong Hyun Sok will be called up instead. Now, Hong is a central midfielder and can't really be seen as a direct replacement. There are perhaps a handful of candidates to fill in on that left-hand side, namely Hwang Yi-chan, Bae Juno and Lee Jae-sung. Most of the domestic-based players departed for Jordan on Monday morning ahead of Thursday's match. The overseas-based players made their own way there. Korea faced Jordan at 11 p.m. on Thursday before facing Iraq in Yongin on Tuesday at 8 p.m. Mm -hmm. Some important games coming up. And two of Korea's players registered goal over the weekend. Yes, that's right, uh, including a first Feyenoord goal for Hwang in Bom. Uh, Hwang played just over an hour as the holding midfielder in a 4-1-2-3, but popped up at the edge of the box in the 43rd minute to make it 2-0 with a well-placed shot into the bottom corner. Feyenoord went on to beat 20-2-1. The midfielder moved to the Dutch Giants in early September and so far has made five appearances for the club in all competitions. Meanwhile, Kim Min Jae scored his first goal of the season, giving Bayern Munich the lead in an eventual 3-3 draw with Eintracht Frankfurt. Bayern remain unbeaten with four wins and two draws and sit top of the table on goal difference. And moving on to baseball, the KBO postseason is well underway now. How are the semi-playoffs going? At the moment, it's currently tied with one game each between KT Wiz and the LG Twins. KT, though, they won the first game 3-2 on Saturday, but then the LG Twins roared back with a 7-2 win on Sunday in front of a sellout crowd of over 23,000. Infielder Shin Min Jae posted three runs for the LG Twins, while starting pitcher Im Chan Gyu was on the mound for five innings and a third, the longest postseason outing of his career, and also earning his second postseason win. The Wiz, though, became the first team to finish fifth and win the wildcard series, beating the Doosan Bears. This after beating the SSG Landers in a first ever tiebreaker. Game three of the semi playoff is coming up on a Tuesday in Suwon at 6.30 p.m. All right, and finally to women's volleyball. The new season is just around the corner. It is, and the Kovo Cup wraps up over the weekend. Now, Suwon Hyundai Engineering Construction Hill State defeated the Daejeon Jongwanjang Red Sparks 3-1 in Sunday's final. Leitita Moma Basoka was Hill State's key player, scoring 19 points. This is Hill State's fifth Kovo Cup title. The competition acts as a curtain raiser of sorts before the league campaign begins. All seven teams take part and on occasion a team from overseas is invited. This year Japan's prestige international Aran Mare took part but they failed to make it to the knockouts. The new league season begins on October the 19th. All right, thanks Paul. I'll see you next week. Thank you, see you.